and we've said it before, but it is worth repeating that this storm could pose a serious flood threat to the Houston area. Now, the storm models that Frank just showed us have many drawing similarities to Tropical Storm Allison back in 2001. It stalled over Houston and dropped four inches of rain per hour, four hours. We have live coverage to help you get information you need to prepare. We're going to begin with Brandon Walker at the Harris County Office of Emergency Preparedness. Brandon? And Bill, it's that threat of this being a significant rain event that has officials here at the Harris County Office of Emergency uh, Management on alert. They're paying close attention to this radar, also urging residents, considering that there could be a lot of rain here over the weekend, to have a plan in place and get it ready tonight. We're looking at a rain event. Radar of Harvey. And Harvey is out in the Gulf and it's stalled and it's gaining strength. Shows a storm set to make landfall somewhere along the coast in southeast Texas. At the Harris County Office of Emergency Management, crews are ready and watching. We're prepared to go all the way to full activation level one tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock. Some 12 to 15 inches of rain expected in parts of Harris County from a storm forecast to sit once it makes landfall. That means areas prone to flooding likely will flood. In communities like Meyerland along Braze Bayou, the threat of flooding is a serious concern. Meyerland has been through a lot. Um, we have made some adjustments, but the kinds of things that are going to make a dramatic difference are still going to be months and years away. One of those adjustments, Project Braze, a joint effort by the Harris County Flood Control District and the Army Corps of Engineers. So what to do if Harvey hits hard, if places like Meyerland are hit again? What's in place currently to help homeowners? Mayor Sylvester Turner. On the federal government decided to provide grant money to raise some of the homes because it's much easier to do that uh, than it would be to just to move them out. Mayor Sylvester Turner there. We also checked in with the Department of Public Works and they tell us that crews are on alert. They also identified 41 spots here in the city of Houston that flood easily. They've got the barricades ready to block those off if need be. For now, we're live tonight. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News.